I mean, how long does spaghetti take to cook on a waffle iron? Hello, I'm Jackson Bird, and welcome to a special quarantine edition of Will It Waffle. If you're watching this more in the future, you can tell this was recorded during the quarantine because I have this awful mustache. My corn stash. Listen, I figured I didn't have to like go to any events or like regularly see people, so I wanted to see what would happen, and you know, I don't hate it. I know it looks bad though. I'm aware, all right? I'm aware. Just wait until my hair grows out even more. All of us with no haircuts and stuff, it's its gonna be interesting what we all look like on the other side of this. Or maybe we'll actually like learn some sustainable skills about how to cut our own hair. <sighs> Self-sufficiency. Anyways, if you are newer around here, you may not know that I used to host a show on this channel called Will It Waffle? A show in which I put random foods on a waffle iron and see what happens. There's no recipes here, there's no science behind it, it's barely funny, it's just me being stupid and trying not to blow up my kitchen. Over the course of 50 episodes, I explored the mysterious depths of the Waffle Iron. There were live shows, there was merchandise, it still is, click below. There were very near dangerous accidents that happened. And now, as we are all as a world going through this very tough time, I just wanted to bring a little bit of distraction and maybe some joy or some laughs to you. Whoever you are watching, because whoever you are, you probably need a little bit more joy in your life right now. And hopefully, me being completely stupid in my kitchen will do that for you. <laughs> Regular viewers of Will It Waffle may notice I'm in a new kitchen. I have moved since the last Will It Waffle. So this is the first Will It Waffle in this kitchen. As you'll see in a moment, I've got a nice little, not quite island, it's like a peninsula where I can set up a little waffle station now. It's awesome. Now, I know a lot of us have been avoiding going to the grocery store, and I know here in New York City, we can't even get groceries delivered, so I'm really glad that I did stock up for about a month or so already. Uh, but when you stock up, that usually means that you need to buy non-perishable items, lots of canned stuff, lots of pasta. I have been eating lots of pasta, like I'm sure a lot of the rest of you have been too, and I've been getting a little bored of the way I've been doing it, so I thought, why don't we see if there's a hot and fresh new way to prepare spaghetti? Yes, today we are going to waffle spaghetti. All right, so I am not trying to make the spaghetti on the waffle iron, although I wonder if that would work. I guess I'd if I could like pour water on there <laughs> or something, but I, I want this to actually maybe be edible and tasty. So I'm cooking it first and then we're gonna put it on here and see what happens when the waffle kind of cooks it for a second time. The waffle iron, excuse me. And then we're gonna add some pasta sauce as syrup. Maybe this is gonna be a hot and fresh new way to enjoy some spaghetti. I just hope it doesn't lead me to have any regretty. I believe we are ready. Hopefully I made enough here. Oh, oh my gosh, listen, oh, it's all falling off. Can't keep it all on. Will spaghetti waffle? Can you see how much just fell out at the start there? This is gonna be a bit of a lopsided waffle this time. This looks like a monster with like hair coming out of its mouth or something, like. This is a monster who just ate a little cuddly spaghetti animal. I'll tell you one thing though, if I do make more Will It Waffle episodes, I think I finally need to get a new waffle iron because it just, it smells like everything I have ever waffled on it. And let me tell you, it's like when you make a smoothie and you use a lot of different brightly colored fruits and you mix them all together and it's just a gross brown sludge. This is the smell of that. If that smoothie were a smell, that's what this waffle iron would be any time I plug it in. It starts going away a little bit when, when you cook something on it. And like, I do wash it in between, but like, there's always that hint of every episode of Will It Waffle in one. They're getting separated from their comrades. I mean, how long does spaghetti take to cook on a waffle iron? Anyone know? How long should I give this? 
Back in the day, many, many moons ago, I, I think like five or six years ago actually, uh, my friend Pat Graziosi, uh, the voice of Life Noggin, he and I actually waffled ramen, and it remains one of the favorite, my favorite things I've ever waffled. Anytime someone's like, what's your favorite thing you've ever waffled? Ramen noodles. Always say ramen noodles. And like the spaghetti, like I did today, we cooked it first. We actually tried both. We cooked it uh, and put it on the waffle iron, and then we also did it just dry on the waffle iron. Surprise, surprise, cooked first was much better. But it wasn't just much better, it was delicious. That might be one of the Will It Waffle items that I've seen people replicate the most often too. Uh, people will send me videos of their families waffling ramen, and it's, it's amazing. So maybe, maybe spaghetti will be just as good as waffled ramen, and maybe we'll, we will have discovered a new family favorite for everyone. <laughs> I have very high hopes for this web series. Is it even a web series? What is Will It Waffle? As we are waiting for the spaghetti to finish cooking, I want to remind you if you are new to Will It Waffle, if you're an old fan, I do have Will It Waffle merchandise. I've also got magnets uh, and lapel pins. Those are for sale at dftba.com. Uh, you can also see some right below the video that you can click on. Now, dftba.com, the warehouse is currently closed. They're out in Missoula, Montana, and they've followed orders uh, for the health and safety of their employees and the community to shut down right now. They are taking some orders, but they're being fulfilled very, very slowly because they only have one person working in the warehouse. But you can still put that order in, you can support that small business, you can support me, and if you are okay being patient, then eventually one day, you will get some Will It Waffle swag. I do hope this turns out today, because this is gonna be my dinner. We're in, we're in quarantine times, I don't wanna have to go back to the grocery store for a long time, so we do not waste food in this household anymore, which means this is dinner, whether it turns out or not. All right, I think it's about time to check out this spaghetti waffle. At least that's what I hope it's gonna be. Moment of truth. Ooh, oh, that was hot, that was hot. Okay, there, whoa, wow. Ooh, all right, all right. You know what this reminds me of? Those Streganona books. Which Tommy DePaoli, I don't know how to say his name, but he recently passed away. He was the author and illustrator, maybe? Uncertain, of all the Streganona books. Leave me a comment if you also loved the Streganona books when you were a child. I mean, look at these waffle squares. This looks like all those spaghetti memes, actually. I mean, this is just beautiful. It looks way more like an illustration than it does real spaghetti. I love it. I love it. So let's try to preserve the form here when we get it onto the plate. This is like replanting pots. I feel like I'm kind of digging up the roots that were actually had, they had a good structure that they made themselves, but I'm kind of ruining it as I attempt to transplant it. Oh, we'll start this, this side is way better. Oh, look at that, that's in one piece. Oh yeah, that's the way to go. Oh yeah! The top part's all good and then it's like, ooh, it's like the ood. It's like the ood from Doctor Who. It just, it's like, it's like it's a mouthful of spaghetti just coming out of its mouth. But the top is very nice. You got the nice waffle patterns there, which I think are going to be very good compartments for my pasta sauce. Just like a normal waffle has built-in syrup holders, a spaghetti waffle has built-in pasta sauce holders. This is weird to like spread sauce on. Well, I guess it's like a sandwich. Oh, I should have made some meatballs. Oversight. Feels a little weird to eat spaghetti with a knife, but I think this calls for it. It is a waffle after all, and you eat waffles with a knife. Just want to get a really good crispy bite. <laughs> That's, all right, um, ease of eating factor. Uh, I think, you know, it's not that it's difficult. It's not that it's any more difficult than normal spaghetti. It's just, it's a new experience, and we as a culture need to decide what the proper etiquette is for eating spaghetti waffles. It's not this. Mmm. I messed up. The thing that did not occur to me is that when it crisped up on the waffle, I don't know, I've got, I got sauce all in my face. I don't know. We're just gonna deal with it. When it crisps up on the waffle iron, it just tastes like it's not cooked again. <laughs> it just tastes like I'm eating uncooked spaghetti. I mean, it's still tasty because it's, it's drowned in sauce and oil, and that's delicious, and carbs are just delicious in no matter what form they're in, but uh, yeah, texture-wise, I mean, let me, let me give it a second shot. Because, you know, not all of the noodles are hard, so maybe, you know, you, you mix some of the, the crispy ones with some of the softer ones. That's kind of a pan-fried situation happening, maybe. 
I don't know. I don't remember the ramen noodles having this problem, because I feel like they would have this same problem. But for some reason they didn't, they were just delicious. Hmm. I don't, like, I don't think that I'm ready to give up on the concept of a, a, of a spaghetti waffle just yet, but this prototype leaves something to be desired. We're gonna have to keep workshopping this. But I still gotta eat it, cause this is dinner. I mean, it did still taste good. It was just, <sighs> yeah, I should have seen it coming. Really should have seen it coming. But hey, I don't know, maybe you try it. A lot of times you will all try these things and do it much better than I did. So if you try it yourself, again, be safe with it. If you do, uh, we don't want anyone having to go to the hospital right now or having their house burned down in the kitchen. That would all be very bad. So be careful. But if you do, let me know in the comments. And if you figure out any way to make it a little bit better, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the special edition of Willow Waffle. I hope it brought you a little bit of joy and happiness, at least for a few moments. If you would like some more distraction, uh, I've got a couple of other things that I'm doing. My friend Bo Mendez and I are still doing our podcast, Everything's Bigger, in which we explore masculinity, what it means to be a man in this day and age, and just generally chat about stuff. Uh, and you can get that on YouTube. You can subscribe at that card or wherever you get good podcasts. And the other thing that I'm doing is that I write and edit and occasionally host a daily podcast called the Coronavirus Morning Report. Yes, it's <laughs> much more serious than Willow Waffle. Totally get if that's not the thing that you want to listen to right now, but I will tell you it is very quick, 15 to 25 minutes every day, accurate, up-to-date information so that you can stay informed. Uh, and I like to say that it's a quick hit of something that you can listen to so that you can ignore the other news all day. If you want to take a step back from social media, not be inundated by news all the time, I think that's a very smart mental health decision. And hey, maybe this can be the one thing that you do to stay informed. So coronavirus morning report available wherever you get your podcasts. But again, I get it. If you would rather just marathon all of the old Will and Waffle episodes. But seriously, I hope that this episode brought you a little bit of joy. I hope that you are all doing as well as you can be considering the situation right now. Maybe you got inspired with a new way to prepare all of the pasta that you have in your cupboard. In any case, stay safe, be well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.